Welcome back everyone to our gameplay of Void Destroyer 2. So in our very first video, we went through a lot of information. So very much an informational or tutorial type of video. Whereas today we're going to get into our first mission. But before we do our first mission, we need to do some upgrades on our ship. We've got a little over 12,000. Let's see first if we can upgrade and purchase a new ship. And indeed we can. We can upgrade to the Gremlin. Let's take a quick look at what we're going to get. A little bit more health, uh, which is always nice. A little bit of increased cruise speed. Okay, so I like it. Better handling and so on. So if we trade this in, which we definitely want to do, 8.3 thousand. Now we're down to 3.9 thousand credits. Uh, so then you can see it's going to get rid of our existing ship and bring in the new one. So we'll give that a moment to take place and then we're going to look for some possible upgrades. I'm not sure we have enough credits to do any upgrades right now, but we're certainly about to find out. So under current upgrades, so one that I really want to get is that defense turret. Only 1.4 thousand. We're definitely going to get that and you can see that's going to spawn in right on the bottom of the ship. Right there you can see it. So it will automatically uh, target anything we need it to. Uh, the next thing I want to do is go to the shield generator. 2.6 thousand, do we have enough? No, we do not. All right, that's one thing that I definitely wanted to get. But keep in mind, we're not going to have this ship for very long before we're going to have an opportunity to move on to the next ship. So I don't want to spend a ton of money on it. Uh, even though we'll get some of that back when we trade in, but not all of it. So I'm careful about which upgrades I purchase for right now. So we've got our turret, and I really like that. So now let's move into the missions tab. And we're going to start out today with one of the basic missions. We talked about these in our first video. So if you are not familiar with this, go ahead and take a look in uh, the playlist for our very first video, which has uh, a little bit better breakdown of each of the types of missions. So we're going to do one of the courier missions. And for each courier mission, you can see it's going to tell us the distance that we're going. Now, this particular mission is not really going to help our standing with uh, the civilian conglomerate, which is the faction. But that's okay. Because we're just doing this to get some experience. So we're going to FOB Gamma. And by default, if we do the very minimum difficulty, it's going to pay us 1.4 thousand and that's what we're going to do today we're going to use that novice difficulty so we're going to go ahead and accept that now that we have accepted and you can accept multiple of these while you're in here but for our purposes today we'll just do one now we're going to come over to undock it'll play the animation i love seeing that defensive turret on the bottom there very nice All right, so now that we are out in the game world, uh, of course, right now we don't really know where we're going. If you see across the top, we can simply move around until we find a directional marker. I'm not seeing one. Okay, yes, there it is. The green arrow at the top. So we want to face in that direction if we can. It's not a huge deal if you don't. Then I'm going to press enter, which will send us into overworld mode. This is where I want to spend a lot of time. So let's go ahead and zoom out. So here you can see this is where we just left. But as I zoom out, you can see the different sectors. And then you can zoom out and you can see some different gates that are available as well as other bases. So FOB Gamma is right here. Then we've got other bases that are around and of course much more exploring to do but this gives you the first idea of the size of this portion of the game world you can see it extends quite a bit but one of the great things that the developer did is he decided that the fun in this game happens once you reach your destination whether you're going to be trading or mining or fighting or so on so he allows you to get there very quickly. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn off the option to lock the camera to the main ship so that we can move our camera around. So I'm just using the W, A, S, and D keys to move around. And in this case, we want to come over to FOB Gamma, and I'm going to right-click on it. 
and that's going to set our destination. You can see very quickly we are moving, but we've been intercepted. This time, it looks to be only one pirate vessel. So as we are closing in, it will take us out of overworld mode. First thing I'm going to do is actually uh, click on the enemy to target it. And you can see the distance it is from us, its health, as well as our health. So on the left-hand side, you can see it's the type of ship Fury. Oh, here we go. You can see our turret is already attacking it before I've even done anything. So the Fury is currently at 95%, so our turret's done a little bit of damage. So I am chasing because it is moving around quite effectively from me. I am trying to lead it sufficiently. This is where those projectile speed increases would come in handy. But right now you can see my turret is doing most all of the work. He's down to 50%. We're at 93%. We've taken a little bit of damage, but not much. Now I'm chasing him around, trying to see where in the world he went. There he went. Yeah, our turret is making quick work of this guy. That is why I love the turret so much, because I am terrible at the dog fighting. Oh, and you see we've got some help come in from one of the other factions. Uh, so this guy, he might be about to split. Uh, in fact, I've lost him. Here, oh, nope, he's been destroyed. That's why I couldn't see him. So now we see that we've got a bounty of 1.5 thousand. So that's more than the mission was worth in and of itself. So now we're going to go back into overworld mode. And we could go through the same process of selecting our destination. Instead, we can just resume our last command. And now you can see we've got an escort from one of the factions that is very friendly with us, the civilian conglomerate. If I want to see uh, what my relationship is with the different factions, we'll have to hurry to do this, but you can see the beggars, that is one of the pirate factions, but civilian conglomerate, 100%. So they're going to help us anytime they can. Uh, and then some of the others, let's see. Well, we run out of time there. Uh, as long as we're in overworld mode, we can see those. But I have very good faction relations with most of the non-pirate factions. So here we're going to zoom in on this particular base. Now, you have to go into the hangar. And if you're looking around and you're not sure where it is, this one is pretty easy to determine. But two things you need to keep in mind when you're looking to dock at a station. You'll want to select the station, so you want to left-click on it. Make sure you do not right-click on it and attack it. But left-click on it, that will select it. That's an option. Also, shift and, well, hold on, let me get back out of this. I hate it when that does that. So shift and C will bring up communications with this particular uh, one. And the one option we're interested in is requesting docking permission. Bigger ships can auto dock, but right now uh, we have to request docking permission. So we'll escape that. And you can see we've got arrows now that will show us exactly where we need to go. So if you're ever confused, shift C will enable you to see that. So we hit our way into the hangar and we're back. There you can see our courier reward, 1,398 credits. So we've got a few more credits now. And that is awesome. So generally what I like to do at the end of each mission before I select a different mission is I like to come in and see which ships are available at the different station. Obviously we're at a different station now than where we did our last video. So we've got some different types of ships. So we've got a medium fighter, we've got a heavy fighter, and then we've got a gunship. So some very nice equipment here. And you can compare the stats of each of these to what you can find at other faction locations and see which ones you want to purchase and or upgrade to. Just keep in mind that some of the more faction specific ships will have uh, demands that you have a certain faction rating with that particular faction before you can do that. Um, also, if we come in under the missions tab, you can see this looks very different than what we uh, we're able to find at our original base. So a different faction, different types of missions. This time they want us to destroy military debris. Now we're not going to do that simply because these are pretty 
uh, difficult missions unless you get to the novice level. And the reason is because some of the debris will shoot back and it also will explode. So plenty of opportunities for you to lose your ship there. Not that that's the end of the world, but they are some of the more difficult missions. And of course you can see the amount of payment. So that takes care of today's video. I wanted to do our very first mission, in this case, a courier mission. We'll be back in future videos to do some different types of missions and hopefully be able to upgrade to a bigger and better ship before very long. For now, thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more Void Destroyer 2.